Hey guys, I want to do a quick video on the Chicago Electric MiG-170 wire feed welder. This is actually applicable to the MiG-180 by Harbor Freight as well. I'm not going to get into actually how to weld with it, but I just want to touch on something that's not very clear in the owner's manual, which is the power supply needed to run this thing. It is a 220 volt MiG welder, but if you look at this plug, uh, if you know anything about the different size plugs, this is a 50 amp plug, which means I needed a 50 amp receptacle. And so it just plugs in like that. Anyway, if you look at the owner's manual, the input is only rated at 20 amps. So you only need 20 amps to run this thing, but they have a 50 amp plug, which means you need a 50 amp receptacle. So if you look at the breaker box, I'm not going to go into the details of running the 220 volt outlet, but I had an old breaker for an electric fireplace that I was not using. So I just used the same breaker that was in there, which is only a 20 amp breaker, which uh, is exactly what the welder is rated for. But I used 10 gauge wiring, which is rated for 30 amps. So I just ran the wiring in there, and uh, you know, just for the conceptual level, um, there's actually three cables in there. They're bound together called Romex cable, but you have two hots that go to screw terminals right here, and then there's what they call a ground bar on the inside of this breaker panel that you attach a bare copper wire to. So 20 amp breaker, 30 amp wiring through the flex conduit across the ceiling. Not the cleanest looking install, but uh, it worked. Uh, another hole in the wall goes down the wall into the actual receptacle. So 50 amp plug, 50 amp receptacle, 30 amp wiring, 20 amp breaker. Now just as a distinction, the breaker here is designed to protect the wiring that's in the walls or in the conduit in my case. So it's not designed to protect the appliance. So because my wiring is good for 30 amps, and the breaker is at 20. I could bump this breaker up to a 30 amp breaker uh, since that's what the wiring is good for. Now, since the welder itself is rated at 20 amps, I might end up tripping this breaker a couple times. And if it ends up tripping too much, then I'll end up upgrading it to a 30 amp. But, you know, the 20 amp is what was already in there. So I'm just going to turn the weld circuit on. And then you come back to the welder. I'm just going to power it on. And you can see the light comes on, the fan starts running, and it's ready to weld. So I hope that cleared up, uh, I guess, the confusion with the power supply needed. It is a little kind of confusing since it only needs 20 amps, but then you got a 50 amp plug, 50 amp receptacle. But if you do a 30 amp breaker and a 30 amp wiring, you should be good. Just uh, I would suggest trying to make a note either in uh, the breaker panel or on the actual receptacle, which I haven't done yet. I want to put a little label on there just noting that um, you know 30 amps only. If you try and plug a 50 amp appliance in there, it's obviously not going to run. It's going to trip the breaker the second it gets over 20 amps over here. So anyway, hope this cleared it up. If you have any questions, let me know. Later.